Hello everyone, welcome to another pen review. Today I have for you Luminous Ember from the Briolete series of pens that's made by Banu, a pen making company based in Russia. So this is the packaging. Let's open this up. Instructions on how you can maintain your pen. This, by the way, was sent to me from Banu for this review. I have featured Briolete pens before. Shape of this pen looks almost like a torpedo. And Briolete pens, they have this multifaceted design. So some of these shapes here, you see they are like diamonds and some are triangles. The surfaces are polished to a high gloss. And for this particular color, Luminous Ember, this color here, it looks like a muted pale yellow. And you see some sparkling particles beneath the surface. And then this color transitions into this almost coffee-like brown color. So this pen actually reminds me of coffee. Coffee that hasn't been stirred yet and the condensed milk is at the bottom. So the logo is here just below the cap. And you can see this design, it's continuous from the cap to the body. Weight of this pen is 19.5 grams. I consider that to be light to medium weight. The length is 13.8 centimeters when cap. Feels rather comfortable to hold in hand. The Briolete series is available in rollerball and fountain pens. So this one is obviously the rollerball. The grip section has three sides. Let's see what rollerball they are using. By the way, the official retail price for these pens it's from US $74 to $80 depending on whether you are getting the rollerball or the fountain and also the design. So this is a Schneider Top Ball 850. I just did a search online and it seems you can find this rollerball refill rather easily. This one is made in Germany and this one is a 0.5. Each ink refill is around 2 US dollars. Of course the pricing will depend on where you buy and who you buy from. This is rated to last for 0.5 miles of writing, which is around 800 meters. See this spring that fell out earlier? This is to give the pen tip a little bit of spring when you are writing. When the pen glows in the dark, it gives off this soft orange color that reminds me of the colors that you usually see when the sun sets and the air is a bit dusty, so that's the color. And this glow, it fits kind of fast. If you want the glow to be bright, you have to expose it to strong sunlight. And for areas where the pen is not exposed, you're going to see that it's a bit darker. Limitation of the ballpoint versus fountain pen is the color of the ink is limited. And ballpoint inks are usually not water soluble. If you are just using the pen for writing, whether or not the ink is water soluble, it doesn't really matter at all. But since I use my pens for drawing, sometimes I apply watercolor over the lines. I need the ink to be water soluble. And for that reason, I don't usually go with ballpoint pens. The writing performance here is quite smooth and this particular ballpoint it looks like it's using liquid ink rather than those oil-based ink. With liquid ink, it's less likely to see those um, roller ballpoint ink blobs that usually appear at the start and end of the strokes. And personally, for me, I prefer liquid ink. The ink flow for this Snyder Rollerball, it's quite good. 
Personally, for me, I would go with a fountain pen because I can use my own ink, which means I will not be limited by the rollerball ink selection. And also, it's more economical in the long run. Some people do prefer rollerball. The one advantage I can think of is with rollerball, it will never dry up. So if you are someone who writes slowly, and you pause for minutes, uh, you don't have to cap the pen because the roller ball, it will not dry up. Oh, another advantage of the ballpoint is no maintenance is required. You don't have to clean it like you clean a fountain pen. So this is a beautiful pen. You can check out all the different designs on Banu's website. The link will be in the video description below. In terms of value for money, the Luminous Ember, this is US $80, it's below $100. The design, it looks good, it glows in the dark, the writing performance is good as well. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video, I hope it's helpful. See you guys in the next video. Bye!